the government was able to acquire an additional 149 million in revenue from 16 land transactions after successfully renegotiating the terms with its contractors. Maknanya yang daripada 23 yang kita runding kan tu, yang mana yang sanggup nak runding tu, dia dah setuju berikan penambahan kepada jumlah harga tanah sebanyak 149 juta berbanding perjanjian terdahulu yang mana syarikat telah membeli tanah dengan harga yang rendah dan merugikan kerajaan. Tapi ini bukan daripada semua 23 lah. Kerana ada daripada 23 tu ada yang tak tak setuju nak runding. Ada yang daripada 23 tu dia kata okeylah kita kembalikan balik tanah. Talib said this during a press conference on Tuesday when presenting the results of the 23 lots of land belonging to the Kuala Lumpur City Hall that were being investigated by the Special Task Force. The task force comprising the Federal Territories Ministry, Attorney General's Office, DBKL and the companies involved has so far met three times for negotiation. Secara keseluruhannya, perundingan berjaya menyelesaikan dan mengutamatkan 16 transaksi. Tiga lagi memerlukan penilaian semula. Dia setujulah. Another three ni, dia kata ok, kita akan bayar ikut penilaian balik. Ya, buat penilaian tanah yang semasa dan tiga transaksi tidak dapat mencapai kata sepakat dan satu transaksi akan melibatkan perbincangan antara peguam. Khalid said the task force investigations were purely from a commercial aspect to learn if the land had been sold at a fair price. He also said the investigations by the Emulation Anti-Corruption Agency are a different exercise to check for elements of corruption.